Are you ready for this? Redis, a popular in-memory database used for caching, has made some licensing changes that are causing a stir. Previously, Redis offered a permissive license that allowed anyone to use and modify the code freely under the BSD3 license. But now, they've switched to a dual license model with much stricter terms. This change didn't sit well with many developers, including some who were core contributors to the project, and in response, some forks have been made by different groups with different goals. SourceHut, for example, has started a fork called Redict or Redict, not sure, and a group led by the Linux Foundation has created a fork called Valky. Both Redict and Valky are based on the latest fully open source version of Redis, which is 7.2.4, and aims to continue development under a more developer-friendly license. Uh, several major tech companies are also backing the Valky branch, or the Valky fork, including AWS, Google, and Oracle. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a casual Redis user, you might not need to worry too much in the short term because you can likely keep using the existing open source version for a while. However, if you're a developer who relies heavily on Redis, you'll want to keep an eye on this situation. Redict is focusing on stability and maintenance, while Valky seems more ambitious for long-term evolution of the project. But both could be viable alternatives in the long run. You may be wondering, what is the difference between those two, Redict and Valky? Well, Drew Default of Redict has said that in technical terms, by the way, this is a quote from R Drew, in technical terms, we are focusing on stability and long-term maintenance and on achieving excellence within our current scope. We believe that Redict is near feature complete and that it is more valuable to our users if we take a conservative stance to innovation and focus on long-term reliability instead. This is in part a choice we've made to distinguish ourselves from Valky, whose commercial interests are able to invest more resources into developing more radical innovations, but also an acknowledgement of a cultural difference between our projects, in that the folks behind Redict place greater emphasis on software with a finite scope and ambitions towards long-term stability, rather than focusing on long-term growth and scope and complexity. So that's the difference between Valky and Redict, from the person who started Reddit. Now, Microsoft has taken a different approach to this. Instead of forking the code, they've created their own Redis compatible caching solution called Garnet. So the world of in-memory databases is getting pretty interesting. We have Redis with its new licensing, the new forks, Reddit and Valky, and Garnet, the alternative from Microsoft. Ultimately, the choice of which solution to use will depend on your specific needs and preferences. And while no one can say, what the outcome of this will be. I don't think any of us were ready for this. Thanks for watching this clip from my show, This Week in Linux. If you like it and want to see more, then check out this episode of Twill.